So we started by upgrading FNs. Okay. What we have here is um, three different FN platforms, 5.7, P90, and Star. Okay. On a 5.7, we have a red dot mounting system. It's called DT Chaos. On the P90, this is a factory P90 stock with our trigger, selector, and entire upper assembly. The Picatinny rail is lower for a better reticle acquisition if you don't have all of the equipment on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the barrels and, that and the gun shoots really nice. I'll show you a yeah, video. It won't translate in yeah. one video to another, but I'll show you. It's a, as soon as we're done, I'll show you a video of these yeah. things running because everything we do is not for aesthetics, although we do take a look very important. But it really is function first, and aesthetics are a close second. I'm in Illinois. This is our cipher, X. Each individual component is an upgrade to your existing factory FN SCAR, so you can use it and mix and match all the various components, or or you can just build one from the ground up without FN. There's a few key components here that make this special. Our upper receiver assembly. Yes. We've deleted a lot of the proprietary barrel mounting hardware for the customizer. We do have this also. Good. All right, thank you guys. So, upper Picatinny rail. This is all part of the quick change barrel system. But if you're building one up from the ground up, these uh, these components are very hard to find. And when you do, they're also very expensive. Okay. So by doing it this way, you in improve your modularity and you save about 600 bucks too. Nice. Okay. On the lower, we deleted all the FN fire control and just went with standard mil-spec AR fire control. So you can drop your AR, fire, AR trigger in there. This is a Trigger Tech AR-15 trigger that you can drop into a scar. Dang, oh. that's cool. <laughs> right? For the 0702 community, for the manufacturers out there, this is an M16 sear. And a scar. Hmm. Hmm. Then we have our buffered bolt carrier. Our buffered bolt carrier solves most of the suppression problems associated with the factory <laughs> FN scar. Scars are notorious for destroying themselves if you overgas them. Right? So we made this out of S7 tool steel. That fixes the camming problem issues. And we've also added this hydraulic buffering system here. What this does, it, it serves a number of different purposes, but essentially, if you boil it down, it mitigates recoil and prevents destruction by acting as a shock absorber. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's cool. This is, this is how it looks like. So, pull up. Here, this, we, uh, we debuted our Cypher K prototype at uh, SHOT Show this year. Uh, so, this is a, in prototype, uh, this is in prototype phase right now. Okay. Uh, but we are working to make it a reality as well. We got the PDW stock, much shorter uh, configuration, and it's in 308, and it will use our buffered bolt carrier so that it doesn't beat, it, beat up the operator. Okay. That's awesome. We suffer from the woes of mass production. So that's where we step in. We make it better. And we make it look better, too. Yeah. <laughs> 